Hello! Hey! Check this out! Wow! And then it goes red as well! Like a Cylon! How are we doing? What's it Wednesday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've got three days to go until the fan dance. That's what I've got this for because I'm doing it at night. I think it starts at 10 o'clock and I'm shitting myself. And that's what this is all about. Tom Jones is on Not That One How You Doing. Check it out. Woo! Hello! Whoa, it goes red. Woo! See that, Tom? It's good, that. Get one of these, you can go wandering around Salisbury at night, mate. Now, are you prepared to suck? So, on Saturday, I'm going to be, hello, hello Tom, on Saturday I'm going to be going up and down Petty Van in uh, South Wales. And I've been up before, but not like this. I went last year just, just walking, just on a holiday to the Breckens. And I wandered up and down, took it nice and easy. You got one good lad. I took it nice and easy. You know, it was just like a walk. Just went for a walk. Spent a day going up there, wandering around, coming back down. It was too busy. There was loads of people. That's the way it is. But it took us like eight hours or something. Um, you know, because it was just Leslie. But this time I'm doing it with a, a 35 pound, or what's that, 15 and a bit kilo backpack on. And I've got to do it as fast as I can. Now, I'm doing it with another fella who's on the, the programme that I'm on, um, the Unstoppable Bastards programme. Another guy from that, and he's doing it as well. It was one of his, t it's been my fitness target, and it's his one as well. And we said, I oh, will do it together. Why not? And he lives in the Malvins and goes running up and down there. So I'm a bit sort of wary of that as well, because he's, he's a lot fitter than me in that way. However, carrying a backpack is very different. Okay, so, and he said to me the other day, he was like, oh, are you ready? Are you ready for this? And it was like, yeah, we are. And he goes, have you seen it? Some people are doing 10 minute miles. 10 minute miles with 35 pounds on their back as well. And I'm like, screw that. 18 minute miles would be good for me. And going up, like going up and down mountains as well. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be scary. Okay, so what's this got to do with you? Well, I'm, there's no way... There's no way I'm going to be anywhere near, anywhere near, I'm going to be like well down the pack. This is what I'm thinking right now. I'm not thinking I'm going to fucking smash it and I'm going to come first. Because there's people way more experienced than me, way more. There's, you know, it's run by special forces guys and there's people who, there'll be ex-forces guys there, not necessarily special forces, but there'll be ex-forces there as well doing it. So that, and they're going to have been doing this since they were like 16 or 17 or whatever it is that when you join the army or when you can join the army so they'll be used to it and they'll, they'll you know they'll be all over it and then there'll be little old me <laughs> who's been doing this for 10 weeks okay so I keep going on about how you've got to get out of your comfort zone okay so people who turn up to the park or do one of my online programs I keep saying it doesn't matter what level of fitness you're at, just step up and do it, okay? I had a guy start last week who's about who's signed up now, he's he's all in. So you do the two week trial, but he's just signed up for the monthly the monthly membership. And he's he'd done one of my online programmes. He did the mere challenge as well. It's not the guy who left um left a review the other day, Ben, it's it's another guy, Dave. And he said he was he was he, he wasn't worried about coming along. He just wanted to make sure he had a certain level of fitness and knew a little bit more about what he was doing before he came along. But then when he came along, we started him from scratch anyway because there was a few things that needed tweaking. And if he'd have come along at the very beginning, whenever it was, I think he did the... He probably did the online programme about three or four months ago. If he'd have come along then, he'd be way ahead of where he is now. Now. <laughs> you know, but that's fine. That's fine. We're still... We'll, we're, that's fine. That's the way it is. And a lot of people think like this. And there's a lot of it about with, which is why people don't want to join gyms. I, I get that. I don't like gyms just because I don't like them. Because I get annoyed in there when I see people coming in day after day after day and just, I mean, if people like the treadmill, that's fine. But if people who want to get results and just come in day after day after day, look around, get scared, go on the treadmill, disappear, get scared, go on the treadmill. 
I'm not annoyed at the people, I'm annoyed at the gyms because they just take these people's money and don't necessarily give them any help. Okay? Some gyms do. Private gyms are probably quite good for that. You turn up, they'll assess you, say, right, we'll give you a programme, they might help out, and then say, right, let's look back in a month and all that, and it becomes part of the package. That is brilliant. Commercial gyms, you wander in, you're part of a statistic, you go for a month, you leave, you pay them, same as everyone else. And you subsidise all the other people who actually do use it, okay? Anyway, so that's why people get put off. And I get that. That was me at the very start. Okay? And I sucked at that. I sucked in this industry. Not to get to the top, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't. You didn't just say that, did you? Yes, I bloody did. Hang on, I'll do this again. Just in case you haven't seen it. Wee, check it out. Woo! Goes red as well. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I'm doing it in the dark, by the way. Did I tell you that? That's why I've got this. It starts at like 10 o'clock at night, this fan dance. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, even in this industry, the fitness industry, whatever whatever that is, um, I, I was prepared, you know, well, in the very beginning, I wasn't prepared to suck, but then I realised I did. A few years ago, I realised I'm fucking rubbish and I need to go out and learn. I need to go and learn. Which is exactly what I've done. Yusuf is on! Hey! Our man in India. You have to go and learn. Have you got a mace yet, Yusuf? You have to go and learn. You should be, you should be handy with a mace, actually, being Indian. That's where, it all, um, that's where it all came from, right? You should be all over it. Um, Anyway, I had to be willing to learn. So I was like, right, I'm going to bloody learn. I'm going to learn. And it's not like I'm going to learn as much as possible. At the very start, I was like, right, I'm going to find who are the best people to learn from. And I'm going to go and learn directly from them. So I found Strong First, who've been brilliant. Okay, and that's, I've learned how to program. I've learned how to use kettlebells with correct technique. How to unleash strength within myself that I didn't know. How to get that from other people as well. Okay, so I did the level one with them, which was harder than anything I've ever done. And then I did the level two, which was supposed to be harder, but I was prepared for that because I prepared for the level one. It prepares you. It's a natural progression. I did the strength matters certification as well, which was, which was similar, but different. It was more based around strength endurance, which means like instead of like absolute strength and being able to lift something heavy above your head, it was about being able to do something for a long period of time with a heavy weight so getting conditioning go get your heart and lungs going which we all need as well which which is what you'll go running for cardio is what people call it but we do that every day i'm doing it right now otherwise i wouldn't be alive anyway and then i learned from i was in a mace thing the other week with rick brown teaching me how to use the mace which is another tool which is great for movement and strength then i was with perry nicholson last weekend who is Stop Chasing Pain, and he's he's about stability. So there's a lot of people going about mobility, which I did. Uh, there was another course in February I did, the FMS. Um, well, I've, I've done the FMS. This was the level two of that as well. So all the corrective exercises you give to people who haven't got decent mobility. And then once you get decent mobility, brilliant, you can move your arms above your head and all that. You need to be able to control it with stability, which is why I went to Perry Nicholson and learned from him as well. Okay, so all of this stuff I knew, I knew nothing about when I first started. Nout, nothing, zilch, nada, bugger all. So I was like, I need to learn this stuff to get better. I need to learn it to get better. And I've got, I'm, I'm way, 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 way further down the line now than I was a few years ago when I first started. When basically I did a, a PT qualification, which was just like, here's what you do with the squat, here's what you do with this, do a little bit of programming, here's how you run a circuit session, 45 seconds, and you pick 10 exercises and do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. That's dead easy. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. You could do that tomorrow. You could go and learn how to do that tomorrow. But getting someone truly strong, getting them truly moving, getting them beyond their capabilities safely with minimal risk of injury i'm not going to say there's zero risk of injury because obviously when you're doing this stuff there's, if you're doing anything there's always a risk of injury there's risk of injury walking off the curb right so there's not zero risk but i help you minimize risk that's what i do 
In fact, that's probably how I define my job. I help people minimise the risk of hurting themselves. I've just thought that up now, but actually that makes perfect sense. And I do that by showing them how to move properly, how to get mobility, how to be able to control that mobility through stability. Okay, this might all mean be a load of bollocks to you, but I don't care, because I sucked at it, and now I don't. Which is why I'm saying to you, if you want to, if you if you look at the stuff that the guys are doing in the park, if you look at what's happening with these guys, they're getting stronger. I, I post videos of them on here, I post videos of them on YouTube, there's, there's all sorts of stuff, there's videos on my website, there's all sorts, and you see what they're doing, and it's like, God, they make it look really easy. How can they do that? How can they do that? I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, they started exactly where you're at right now, and not that long ago as well. And not that long ago. My, long, my longest standing client at BKS is two years. And most of the guys, let's think, most of them, actually a few of them have been coming two years, and then there was another, quite a big intake last year, and they've all, they're all pretty much at a similar level. Which is why I've gone off in a, a whole other dimension of stuff, because what will happen is everyone will reach a plateau, and then be like, well, what happens now? Where does the progress go? Which is why I've learned more stuff to help them out because there will still be mobility issues, there will still be stability issues, there'll still be issues, there'll still be issues. They'll always, they'll always be there. All we're going to do is just manage them and manage them and make sure these guys get to a ripe old age while still being able to move. One of them's doing a 500 mile bike ride across the bloody highlands of Scotland this week. So we'll find out, we'll find out how he's doing next week. Anyway, so that's all I'm asking. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to do something, to get started with something, and be rubbish at it? Are you prepared to do that? And if you are, that's fine. Go and do it. Because the only way you learn is by being rubbish at something and learning from someone who knows what they're talking about. Going and finding a teacher who can, who's done it and who can tell you how to do it properly and then you get better. You can try getting better on your own, which is the, the slow way, the very slow way, because I've tried that as well. I did 10 years of that and I, you know, didn't learn a lot. Well, I learned a lot, but it was all a little rubbish, quite frankly. So, you know, you can, go and, you can go and do that and do it on your own and that's perfectly fine, but it'll take you longer. Or you can find someone, <laughs> like me, you can find someone who's done it who's been where you're at as well, because that's the other thing, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of trainers out there who don't know any different, all they know is like they've been a sports person and then, they were a, and then they've become a coach and they've been fit their whole lives, I haven't, I haven't, I, I, you know, I had a desk job for 15 years, sitting down, hunched over, knackered shoulders, I couldn't move, I was unfit, I had boobs, and I had like, you know, the little the little bits that hang above your belt line, in fact bigger bits actually, I had proper love handles. And I hated it, I hated it. So, you know, I've been where you're at right now, and then when I got into this, I sucked at it. But I've got better at it, so now I want to teach you how to get better as well. And that's why, one of the reasons I'm wearing this ridiculous thing on my head, I'm now going to have, when I nip out now, I'm going to have this funny, anyway, I'm prepared to look stupid as well, I don't care. And it's red. I'm prepared to look stupid as well, and I don't care. So, I'm going to suck this weekend. I'm going to. Be, I'm not going to be the best there. I'm not. I'm, I hope I'm not going to be the worst there. I may well be. I may well be. Am I bothered? No, because I just want to do it. I just want to get it done because it'll be a massive achievement. So, think about that. Are you willing to suck? And if you are, give us a shout. Not in that way. That's disgusting. Stop it. But yeah, if you are, give us a shout, download my programme, ask me a question, anything. Just get started with something that you're not very good at. And if that's health and fitness, which, let's face it, the vast majority of people out there, if you have a look around, are getting bombarded with a load of stuff, so it's very confusing. So start to learn about it. Ask someone who knows. And get started. It doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter how silly you feel, just get going. Still shitting myself about Saturday. I thought this might help, and it doesn't. <laughs>
Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow.